Welcome back everyone. Thanks for joining me for another beer review. Hope you're all well. Right, I've done a lot of sort of out of date beers and what have you, and there's only one more to go up. Uh, I've done a couple of craft ones in between that you'll see, but we're sort of back to sort of like budget beers now, and the beer that I'm doing now, I picked up from uh, Home Bargains, and it was a bargain, but it's actually from a proper decent, you know, stable if you like, beer stable if you want to call it. Uh, and we've got the proper Czech Budweiser now, uh, and it's a Budvar, but this is their, I'm not even going to attempt to say the Czech word for it, but we've got the Budvar Dark Lager, if you like. It's in a 500, and 500 mil bottle, never mind a 500 and something mil bottle, it's a 500 mil bottle. It's coming in at 4.7%, and like I say, home bargains, £1.49 absolute bargain so uh yeah i'm going to show you the branding again quickly i like that i do like that and i like the bottle cap as well there we go look at the crown on there beautiful crown uh now i did think about sticking it in the old An anhauser bush budweiser glass but i thought that might be a little bit of an insult so i don't actually have a proper budvar glass but we are going to put it in the old Kozel Kozel Czech beer glass. So we're kind of keeping it Czech. So let's get it cracked open, see what we get. It came out of the fridge about five minutes ago. It's been in there for a while, so it's ice cold. It's probably not ideal temperature. I say ice cold. It's on the highest setting, so it's probably at about five degrees. So it's probably sound actually. So let's get it cracked open, see what we get. Look at that. Do you know what? Some of these, these bottle caps are fantastic. I do like it. Right, shut up Baz. They don't want to hear you talking shit, do they? Not that you ever get much choice apart from the fact, you know, you don't have to watch. Which is not what Baza wants. Baza doesn't want that. But I do waffle on a bit. All right, a little bit left in the bottle. It's a green bottle as well. Kind of deceiving. Dark beer gives it the impression of a darker bottle. So beer in a glass. Look at that. Now I do like a dark lager. That sort of like mahogany looking colour. It might look dark on the camera, but it's definitely sort of mahogany stroke chestnut looking colour. We've got about a finger and a half of pretty compact tan head, but there are a few larger bubbles in there. There's, I can see plenty of bubbles going up the glass as well, which is a rarity for me. So, does it look like a dark lager? Yes. It's got a lovely head on it. So that also makes it look pretty decent. So let's dive in on the nose and see what we get. Yeah, and you know what, it's, it's got that, it's rich in malt, almost animal feed malty, if you like. Got a weird glass, by the way. <laughs> Ignore me looking at it. Yeah, almost animal feed malt but it's got that Budvar aroma in the background. It's quite weird. There's almost a little chocolatey note as well, I would say, on the nose. Let me just look at the bottle. If, see if there's anything I can tell you. Uh, beer ingredients, water, barley, malt. Uh, the malts are pale Munich caramel and roasted. So, Yeah, I suppose you kind of get that roasted malt. I wouldn't say you sort of like get a coffee feel to it, but chocolatey sort of caramel thing maybe. Uh, Saz hops, contains barley, imported by Budweiser Budvar UK Limited. So yeah, it's the proper thing. So let's stop waffling. That lovely creamy head on top now. When you give it that swirl, it sort of like settles the head. But the bubble's still going up, the head isn't going anywhere. So let's dive in. Budvar, dark lager, £1.49, 500ml bottle, home bargains. Cheers. I talk so much, I have to, <laughs> I have, to have a drink. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's Czech. Czechs do great lagers and what have you. I don't drink an awful lot of Czech stuff because there's not an awful lot available. Even sort of like on me machines that I've got. 
but I drink a lot of German stuff. And it's just, it's, it's like drinking a German beer, really, to be honest. A German dark lager. It's got the lightness and drinkability of a lager. So it's not too heavy. It goes down easy. It's got the carbonation of a lager, but not not the shit you get over here, like where it just like fucking goes wild in your mouth. It's got a carbonation there that you know is a lager carbonation, if you like. It's quite busy. It's 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 reasonably busy, but it's not sort of lifeless. And yet, it doesn't ruin the mouthfeel. Look at the way that head is holding there. Look at that. The way that head is still on the glass. You just know it's a decent beer from that. It's going on the taste as well. Give you some tasting notes, I should say. Yeah, taste malty, caramel sort of malty if you like, some caramel, you get that. I think at the same time for me, I'm picking up the hops, that hoppy bite to it, along with the roastiness. They're sort of like kicking in at the same time. Yeah, the more you drink, the heavier it starts to feel. So even though it's still sort of like drinks light, goes down easy, it sort of feels that little bit heavier. And I think that's the dark side of the beer, if you like doing that. 4.7%, oh, pardon me, filling up with a few bubbles. 4.7%, yeah. You take away that dark side of the beer and it's drinking just like a a standard sort of lager really. But the darker side to it does does add a little bit of weight to it if you like. Uh yeah, that's a decent beer, that really is. And do you know what I like about this style is it's the sort of beer that I mean, we go on a, a beer reviewers, if you like, they go on about certain times a year to drink beers. And uh, you kind of like associate dark beers with the winter times, the cold times, which is great. But if you're not sort of, if you're not a stout drinker or a dark ale drinker or whatever, it's not really any good for you. But if you're prone to a, you know, down in a dark lager like this, it's going to be good for you because it is still sort of downable. It's still got that sort of downable drinkability to it. So yeah, waffling on now. Let's shut up. Budvar. Budvar is a Budvar dark lager from Home Bargains. £1.49, 500ml bottle. 4.7%. Is it worth picking up? Absolutely. That is exactly what you expect from a dark lager. Now for me, like I said, I don't drink many Czech beers. It reminds me of a German beer. If it reminds you of a German dark lager, it's doing the job right. So uh, yeah, if you like them darker, give it a go. If you like Budweiser, give it a go, or Budvar, if you like. Uh, yeah, give it a go. If you've had it before, let me know what you think. Feel free to comment. I was trying to make it a short one. That went out the window before I even had a taste of the beer. So uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Like, share, subscribe and all that bollocks and I'll see you again soon on another one. Cheers.